Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve men ve lah. Ama ba'du, respected viewers, assalamu alaikum ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuh. And welcome to this new lesson of the explanation of the book of Zakat. In today's lesson we will cover the topic of Zakatun Naqdain or the Zakat on the two currencies. When we say the two currencies, we are referring to gold and silver and that which replaces them, such as cash, stocks, bonds, and other things. The first thing we are going to cover in this lesson is the ruling, ruling of a zakat concerning the two currencies. The zakat on the two currencies is obligatory. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ يَكْنِزُونَ الذَّهَبَ وَالْفِضَّةَ وَلَا يُنْفِقُونَهَا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَبَشِّرْهُمْ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ يَوْمَ يُحْمَى عَلَيْهَا فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمَ فَتُكْوَى بِهَا جِبَاهُهُمْ وَجُنُوبُهُمْ وَظُهُورُهُمْ هَذَا مَا كَنَزْتُمْ لِأَنفُسِكُمْ فَذُوقُوا مَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْنِزُونَ This is in Surah At-Tawbah and the interpretation of the meaning is and those who hoard up gold and silver and they spend them not in the way of Allah and announce to them a painful punishment on the day when it shall be heated in the fire of hell then their foreheads and their sides and their backs shall be branded with it this is what you hoarded up for yourselves, therefore taste what you hoarded. In the authentic hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا مِنْ صَاحِبِ ذَهَبٍ وَلَا فِضَّةٍ لَا يُؤَدِّ مِنْهَا حَقَّهَا إِلَّا إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ صُفِحَتْ لَهُ صَفَائِحُ مِنْ نَارٍ فَأُحْمِيَ عَلَيْهَا فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمَا فَيُكْوَى بِهَا جَنْبُهُ وَجَبِيلُهُ وَظَهْرُهُ فكلما بردت أعيدت له في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة حتى يقضى بين العباد فيرى سبيله إما إلى الجنة وإما إلى النار and the hadith is uh, narrated by Imam Muslim the meaning is uh, Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said for uh, the owner or possessor of gold and silver who does not fulfill its obligation meaning he does not pay its dues to the poor on the day of resurrection it will be cast into sheets of fire and branded on his forehead, side and back. Whenever it cools, it is to be repeated for him in a day whose length is a length of 50,000 years until the judgment is rendered among the people. And like we said, the hadith is narrated by Imam Muslim. There are conditions that necessitate zakat on the two currencies. The first condition is Bulug al-Nisab, the attainment of a Nisab. And the attainment of a Nisab meaning the minimum amount of gold or silver that requires Zakat. The second condition is Hawalan al hawl which means the lapse of an entire Hijri year, the lapse of one Hijri year on the silver or the gold. The third condition is Tamam Mulkiya, which means the complete ownership, the complete ownership over the gold and silver. In the next slide, we will learn how to calculate the Nisab of the gold and the silver. The Nisab of gold is 20 Mithal, which is equivalent to 85 grams of pure gold. The Nisab of silver is 200 dirhams, which is equivalent to 595 grams of pure silver. Now, when it comes to the calculation of zakat on gold, this is how it works. If the saved gold weight is 85 grams or more, meaning it attained the Nisab, which is the minimum weight that is required for zakat, so if the saved gold weight is 85 grams or more, then zakat is quarter of one-tenth, which is 2.5% of the value of the saved gold. Let's take a look at some examples. For example, we have a person who owns 150 grams of gold. How does he calculate his zakat? The calculation is as follows. He can pay zakat in gold, meaning he pays the zakat by giving gold, and this is the way to calculate it. We take the 150 grams of gold multiplied by 2.5%, which gives us 3.75 grams of gold. Or, 
we can take the 150 grams of gold we divide it by 40 and it will give us the same result 3.75 grams of gold this is how much he has to give in gold so if he wants to pay zakat in gold he pays 3.75 grams of gold if he owns 150 grams of gold now can he pay the zakat in cash the answer is yes and this is how to calculate it we take the 150 grams of gold we multiply it by the price of the gold on the day we want to pay the zakat then we take the total we multiply it by 2.5 percent or we divide it by 40 this is the example so we take the 150 grams of gold we multiply it by 33 dollars which is the price of the gold today and it will give us 4950 we will take the 4950 multiply it by 2.5 percent which will give us hundred and twenty three dollars point seventy five this is how much cash he has to give for owning hundred and fifty grams of gold or we can take the four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars divide it by forty and it will give us the same result hundred twenty three dollars point seventy five cents there is also this calculation the owner of zakat can take the 3.75 grams of gold multiply them by the price of the gold on the day of zakat which is 33 dollars in our case and it will give him the same result 123 dollars point 75 so in summary the owner of gold can pay zakat in gold or in cash he has these two options and we learned how to calculate both options now let's go to the next slide and learn how to calculate the zakat on silver for example if we have a person who owns 950 grams of silver meaning he owns more than the nisab more than the minimum weight that makes the zakat obligatory on silver which is 595 grams as we learned earlier so in our case this person owns 950 grams of silver how does he pay his zakat he can pay his zakat in silver and the way to calculate it he takes the 950 grams of silver multiply it by 2.5 percent which will give him 23.75 grams of silver that's how much silver he needs to give as zakat or he can take the 950 grams of silver divide them by 40 and it will give him the same result 23.75 grams of silver and that's how much silver he needs to give as zakat if he wants to pay in cash the calculation will be as follow the 950 grams of silver multiplied by the price of the silver on the day of zakat which gives us a total we're gonna take a total and multiply it by 2.5 percent or divide it by 40 so we take the 950 grams of silver we multiply it by the price of the silver on the day of zakat and today the price of silver was 0 0.45 dollars meaning 45 cents so we take the 950 grams of silver multiply it by 0 0.45 cents which will give us a total of 427 dollars 0.5 I'm gonna take the four hundred and twenty seven dollars point five I'm gonna multiply it by two point five percent which will give me ten dollars point sixty eight and that's how much cash this person needs to pay uh, for zakat so ten point sixty eight dollars cash or he takes the four hundred twenty seven point five dollars divided by forty and it will give him the same result ten point sixty eight dollars the other way to do it is to take the 23.75 grams multiply it by 0 0.45 which is the price of the silver on that day and it will give us the same result 10.68 dollars this is how much cash this person needs to give for his 950 grams of silver now what about the person who owns cash how does he pay his zakat The person who owns an Isab in cash and Al Hawl has passed, meaning one full Hijri year has passed on this saved cash, 
then he should pay zakat on cash he has and the amount is the same like gold and silver which is a quarter of one tenth which is 2.5 percent of the money he owns the person who owns cash can pay his zakat based on the nisab of gold or on the nisab of silver let's learn how to calculate the zakat of cash based on the nisab of gold so in our example the one gram of gold of pure gold costs 33 dollars that's how much the gram of gold costs today while I am recording this video so the nisab of cash based on gold is calculated as follow we take the 85 grams of gold which is the nisab of gold then we multiply it by the cost of gold of the day which is $33 and it gives us $2,085 that's the nisab and therefore if a Muslim owns $2,085 in cash and one Hijri year has passed then he has to pay 2.5% of it as a zakat let's take a look at the following example and learn how to calculate the zakat based on the nisab of gold here we have Zaid and Zaid owns $4,200 in cash and after one Hijri year has passed he wanted to pay his zakat based on the nisab of gold how does he calculate his zakat first we need to calculate a nisab we will take the $33 which is the cost of the gold today then we multiply it by 85 grams which is the nisab and it will give us $2,085 okay Zaid owns $4,200 that is above a nisab and therefore he has to pay zakat now we take the $4,200 we multiply it by 2.5% and it will give us $105 that's how much cash he needs to pay or we can take the $4,200 we divide it by 40 and it will give us the same result $105 so Zaid has to pay $105 in zakat okay let's go now to the next slide and learn how to calculate zakat based on nisab of the silver if the gram of pure silver costs 45 cents then the nisab of cash is as follow we're gonna take the 595 grams of silver which is the nisab we will multiply it by 45 cents which is the cost of the silver today as I am recording this video okay so we multiply 595 by 0 0.45 which will give us $267.75 and that is the nisab of silver so whoever owns two hundred and sixty seven point seventy five dollars and one year has passed one hijri year has passed then he has to pay zakat on it let's take a look at some example here in our example Amr owns eight hundred dollars and after one hijri year has passed he wanted to pay zakat on the cash he owns based on the nisab of silver now how does he calculate his zakat first we need to know the nisab of the silver and as we learned earlier the nisab of silver we calculate it by taking the price of the silver of the day multiplied by 595 grams of silver which is the nisab and it will give us 267.75 that's the nisab of today now to calculate the amount of cash that Amr needs to pay we take the $800 multiply it by 2.5 percent and it will give us twenty dollars or we take the eight hundred dollars and divide it by 40 and it will give us the same result twenty dollars so this is the amount that Amr has to pay as zakat twenty dollars for the eight hundred dollars he owned for one hijri year as you can see calculating zakat based on the nisab of silver as it is lower in price than gold is the better choice since it allow more people to pay zakat and therefore more people receive zakat as well 
However, one can base their zakat calculation on the nisab of gold as well, if they wish to do so. Lastly, we talk about the rules of ornaments of gold and silver. There are two types of ornaments when it comes to gold and silver. The first type is ornaments intended for use and the second type is ornaments intended for storage, safekeeping and business. So what is the ruling of ornaments intended for use? The scholars of Islam deferred in opinion concerning zakat on ornaments of jewels used by women. According to the majority of scholars, ornaments of gold used by women are not subject to zakat. They are not subject to zakat as long as they are not intended for trading. And this is the view of the majority of scholars. The second type of ornaments, as we said, is the ornaments intended for storage, safekeeping and business. Any ornaments that is intended for storage, safekeeping or business, the zakat on this type is obligatory. The Muslim must pay zakat on it. Finally, the ornaments other than gold and silver, zakat is not obligatory on them. For example, diamond, pearls and other jewelries there are no zakat on them, no matter how much its value is, except for the ones considered for sale, as in this case, they are to be treated as goods displayed for sale, such as merchandise, and we will learn how to pay zakat on merchandise and commercial goods in the future lessons. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. I ask Allah Azza wa Jalla to make us among those who listen to the word and follow the best of it. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ